Oh no, now it works. Okay. <laughs> now it works. Well, that was weird. It was weird, but it, it looks also like it's working now. Shows you well, but see now do do like people say something over here? Um, let me see. There we go. We're really technologically advanced. Okay. Okay, good. We're here, but I'm still not seeing anything. So if anybody's out there, say hi, please. Yeah. So I know that we're working. Yes, there you go. We're confused. We, we got it now. We struggle. Yeah. We haven't even started drinking the tequila. <laughs> so I am Lexi Blake. I write weird romance. I am Chloe Bell, and I... Edit. And I edit her weird romance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, this week we had a uh, little event come out that I worked for about, well, I've been working on it for at least 18 months, about maybe even two years, uh, called the Crossover Event. And it's my version of um, the, like a Marvel Universe where I got to cross over my books with um, five ungodly talented authors. Uh, Laura Sion, who I love and adore as a human being, as well as an author. Um, Julie Kenner, who's been my friend for years. Uh, Susan Stoker, who's amazing. Corinne Michaels, who I I got to meet, and I still don't even know why she said yes to me. And Carly Phillips, who is one of my icons. So I hope you'll all give the crossover collection a chance. Um, but we are here to, oh, hold on, this is comments. People commented. Yeah, we got. I'm sure I can see it in my mind. Okay. So, so gonna, what we're gonna do? We're gonna play a little game because it'll be fun. Um, we're gonna play stump the author. I think I know my work better than you do. I am probably wrong. Yeah. We're pretty sure we're wrong. Yeah. So we're going to for every answer we get wrong, we take a shot of tequila. That ups your chances for getting the us getting the next one wrong too. Honest to God. <laughs> um. But also, we're here to answer questions. I don't do Facebook Lives very often, so if you've got any questions, I am ready to answer them. If you want to yell at me for something I did not do in the crossover, or yeah, feel free. I can handle it, especially after I've answered a couple of questions wrong. And Liz would like you to know that Steve's watching, too. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Steve yeah. does not get to ask any questions <laughs> or make any statements. Do we have this? So, um, what we've been doing all week is accepting questions uh, from from y'all. Our amazing admin Jennifer Zephyr has been collecting them, and she is going. I love and, the little things that are going. Like yeah. some of them, like look a little, a little sexy. Oh, one is mad. Oh, what did I do for that? Oh, that one's sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Some of them are people. Oh, okay. Um, but we have not seen these questions. We didn't. No, nope. we we know nothing about it. We're probably and so we don't. We're these are completely stopped. <laughs> we're probably gonna prove that in a minute. Yeah. Um, if this goes super poorly and we get to like question six and haven't an answered one right, we reserve the right to um to wave the white flag and say that we don't want to die of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. There's only some Do we have any questions? I can't see them. Yes. Um, Jennifer, if you're watching. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be a trivia question. I'll, yeah. I'll answer anything but math questions. Probably not very good at those. It's not for iOS, our subject matter. <clears throat> There's a reason we went into this. That's right. <laughs> Our tequila for the night is Herodura. Trivia. What fictional character really likes Herodura? Who knows that one? I'm way better at general word trivia than I am mine. Sorry, I'm looking. This does not work if nobody asks a question. I'm just going to say but I love all the little floaty. And see, I can't actually see the questions, so why can't I see the question? Also, I look very cool in, like, the blue light. Well, we see more of Marinus of Marcus. That's from oh, um, Diana Butler. Um, in, in Thieves? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Um, you know what? He does not play a big role in Outcast, but Outcast is going to start something that's a really big... 
um, really kind of world changing event. Uh, and Marcus is a big part of that. And that's probably all I should say. Ask me again after I've had a couple of shots of tequila. Liz Berry would like to know, or Steve, who is your favorite thriller writer? My favorite thriller writer is Steve Berry. You should go out <laughs> right now and read his book. It's called The Bishop's Pawn. Two weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. Oh, my God. I get paid for that, right? You get paid for that. Okay. $5. $5. That's right. You want your $5. I want my $5. You can write that check. Um. We've got, a, uh, Jillian wants to know who your favorite Larissa Ion character is. This is a trick question. Oh, that's a trick question. Obviously, I'm supposed to say Jillian. <laughs> Obviously. It's Ion. Ion, sorry. And then Stacy wants you to say hi to Brent, who is also watching with her. Hi to Brent? Yes. You know, Stacey, oh, oh my God. Hi, Brent. <laughs> How are you? Um, I'm, I'm hoping that nobody snipes me from that window back there because I made the horrible mistake of having windows. In my house. Oh, that's your ring. Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm going to silence that. Um, <laughs> okay, so first question. All right. And I don't think we're going to get it. In their virgin <laughs> secret, what is Jesse's cat's name? In their virgin secret. Oh, my God. It was something like. Mr. Something? Was that right? Mm. No, I think that was Hannah's. Hannah's was like Mr. Snuggles. This was an actual name because. Oh, okay, because she thought the cat was. The yeah. Name, the cat was. I want to say like Alistair or Angus. 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 Is it, it was Angus. Angus. Please be Angus. Please be Angus. Please be Angus. So let's see. <laughs> we're gonna hold hands. Like we're waiting for the. Is it Angus? We have not. I don't see Jennifer's answer yet. So okay. We might have to wait for a minute to see. We're gonna wait. Yes, but um. Let's we should probably go, go ahead and get them ready, though. Christine would like to know which one of the characters is most like you in the meantime. You know what? That is a question. That's a good question. Wait, do she, what's the water should be nice to us? I can't oh, yeah. swallow I that. Can't I can't swallow it. it. Yeah. So we're just going to do an actual swallow. I don't know what I probably shouldn't do that. I'll smell like tequila. I'll say it's Mark. Okay. You were what? <laughs> I can't. <man. laughs> okay, that's actually really good tequila. Oh, no, um. Guess. I'm a lot like. Yes! Yes! Woo! Awesome! I can't believe I got that. Yes. 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 Have supported me forever and been I've been so close to. Uh, I'm also a lot like if I had to take some of my negative features and say I had put them out there, I'm a, I'm an awful lot like Lexi, which is why I named the my Lexi from Siren Beloved. Um, I'm that girl that if you put in a corner, I really struggle to come out. And there's a, so there's a lot of me in all of them, but I would say those two I'm really close to. The girl I want to be, of course, is Zoe. <laughs> Because I wrote, I wrote yes. five books about her. We didn't have to take a shot. High five. five. We did not high five. We did yes, that well. did awesome on that. Mm. Um, so, uh, Teresa Welsh would like to know if you're planning to do, or Walsh would like to know if you're planning to do another crossover. Um, I'm not right now. I'm going to bask in this one for a while. It was it was two years worth of really hard work. Um, so, I, I, I'm not right now, but I would not say no in the future. And I certainly wouldn't say no to doing someone else's. Okay, Jennifer, do we have another? Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, can you name? This is not from Jennifer. So okay. Can you name all of Georgia Dawson's brothers? Okay. Okay, Georgia Dawson's brothers. We've got Wynn is the oldest, mm -hmm. Ben and Chase. And then oh. she, no, 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 there are two more. There's, 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 the, there's, five? there's five. There are five brothers because, yeah. Oh, my God. Um. Mark. That's what I got. Yeah. I, I think that there are I think there are five. And I don't know that because, one. So because tell us if that was the right answer or not. the person who posted that one could tell us if it's the right answer or not. Um, Mark and <laughs> Drew! Mark and Drew. 
Mark and Drew. Because mm-hmm. Mark and Drew were in the army while Ben and Chase were Navy SEALs and they like to fight about it. Am I right? Mm-hmm. I don't know, but we'll, okay. we'll see. But, but now we have Jennifer's next question. Okay. Um, how many guards did Ben have to go through to get into the the Nepal facility in Countdown? Oh, oh my God! Oh my no, that's that not even hard. fair. Oh my God! I'm <laughs> yeah, gonna I'm gonna that. make a guess and say ten. Like that many? I don't know. I'm gonna yeah. Okay, we'll go with ten. We're going with We're ten. Going with ten. Um, and we'll have to wait for her to come up with an answer. Um, I think I'm actually right about the Dawson brothers. Um, yes, they're, they're yeah. two people that we are. There are two still in the military. Yeah. Yes. So maybe See, I'm right. Um, and yes, I'm waiting for the seat of Jennifer. 12. 12. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, cheers. Do you want salt? Or are you okay? Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. With that. Okay. Right. Yes. Thank you, Mary Carr. Um, Who? Said, yeah. Um, I just one down. I think I missed one question. I'm going to roll back for a second so you can talk about it. What am I supposed to talk about? I don't know, but I think I'm because they're not, Jennifer's numbering them, and I don't. Oh, so okay. I think I missed one. So I got this from Mary Carr. Taught me how to do a really great shot. Mostly because I get cotton candy at the end. I also might be a little like Lisa Daly and be totally invested in fair food. Because who doesn't like fair food? Mostly she does. You know what? I got a lot of Lisa Daly from her. I get a lot of, like, somebody should ask me, like, what are the weird things I've taken from you? Because mm-hmm. Lisa's a lot like you. Yeah, I like fair food. <laughs> well, she's like, she's the one who you can always get her with food. Mm-hmm. Like, if we're walking around and we're talking about something serious and she smells like a freaking corn dog. Yep. Corn dogs are good. Cotton candy, funnel cake. Mm-hmm. One time we had to stop and have, I mean, I anywhere we go where they've got funnel cake, we end up. We have a funnel cake. And that, um, and you got the. I told you about the pistolets because you've never seen those before. The pistolets, they take. Oh, pistols, yes, that's right. Yeah, the little bread, they fry bread and they put coffee shed your things out of it. These were delicious. Yes. Okay. They look delicious. All right. Um, and uh, sorry, I think we rolled it back this second. What's the name of the all girls school and Scandal Never Sleeps? Oh, crap. And oh, Creighton, did we name it? I think we did. Name it. Damn it. Um, why did we why did we name it? I'm thinking about this from now on. Um what would I have named an all girls school? Would it be a saint something? I was thinking it was a saint something, but like I was also thinking we could have named it something like terrible, like I don't know. I'm going with Saint Mary's. Saint Mary's? Mm-hmm. That. I'm betting it's going to be St. Tequila. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, talking, to for just I'm two for two so far. Yes. Um, and then we had another question back here. This okay. time that was from somebody. Um, if a movie was being made based on your books, who do you see playing Ian Taggart? Um, I always see, I always see Hemsworth. Because he's big and he's super sarcastic and he's got the blonde Viking thing down. Um, so I, I always, I kind of always see Chris Hemsworth, but I don't know if anybody would please me. Ian is, if, like, it would also almost have to be somebody I found, but I think Hemsworth could pull it off. Um, Murray Heights Academy for Young Women. Damn it. <laughs> so, oh. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Ugh. Okay. Why do people do that? Drink tequila because it tastes good. She likes it. I do like it. Um, Tiffany says she loves, loves, loves Ian Taggart. He cracks her up. Um, you should live with him. And Brittany says that she has gone to some extreme measures for funnel cake. Thank you very much. <laughs> that <laughs> <Yes>. makes... <laughs> 
Okay, next question. On Nata's list received retrieved from the nursing home, what number was the president's mom? Constance Hayes. On oh, list. oh, come on. I think I, I'm you know that? I think that's in a bottle. I think that's like around seven, maybe. I think that she was around six or seven because I think Dax's dad was, or maybe she was ten. The okay, that ring about you've you? just given me three numbers. <laughs> you, we're going with seven. We're going with seven. We're going with seven. And guys, come on, give me something other than number. I'm really good with names. Name, except for girl school. Um, someone said, will this be the end of Ann Taggart and the crew? No. No. Yes, oh, oh, God, no. Yes. No, so what we're going to do is eight. It was eight, seriously? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We have to get the next one or we're going to get in serious trouble. <laughs> Although I'm be honest, I've been I've been lightening those up a little bit because. Oh, okay, hang on. George's brothers. When Ben, Mark, Drew, Chase. Boom. Okay, you got it. Yeah, good you. See, um, what we're gonna do is obviously Ian will play a big part in the Forgotten. When oh wow that tequila just hit me when we are at the end of the Forgotten, which is five books. Um. Uh, five books and six men at honest God, maybe seven. And you need to think about that going into it. Cause I'm thinking Ezra's going to be in there too. Uh, when we get to the end of that, we're going to time jump. So when we time jump, we get to Michael and Hutch and Deke and bear and those people who've been, I call tense men. We're also going to get to Grace's sons who are going to come back and play a part and Michael's brother JT. So these guys are all going to be now in their mid thirties. Uh, and that's about the time that I really like to deal with heroes. Um, when we are done with those guys, we are going to do something super fun and we're going to time jump and we'll catch up to countdown. So, so no, Ian's got a long time and I've got to deal with all of those children and my characters procreate like rabbits. And I already foresee a romance between Seth Tagger and um, the the sweet, sweet little Chloe Lodge. <laughs> and we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're, uh, I don't know, this one we're going to think about. What is a 540 in the Masters of Mercenaries world? We, oh, this oh a 540 said. is, um, that's where, uh, a 540 is where they start taping everything remember because yes. ian didn't hear the 540 okay. and that's how he made the sex tape okay Is that i think that's it if we were in the bliss world i would say that it's this male a sighting of a male penis because we just had that because we just had that but i think that a 540 we're talking about love and let die and this is where ian calls it so that all the cams are turned on so they can watch charlotte but then he forgets and makes a six type. Okay, we're going to go with that. And then someone else wants to know, do you have a character map to keep it all straight? Uh, we have a series Bible. You want to know the truth? We've got so many characters. I've written 75 books, I've written and published 75 books at this point. Um, it's impossible to keep up with. We still get things wrong. We still leave things out. Um, I think we try to be pretty good. We try to keep everything straight. But things still get through. And, I try to fix that, but. Uh, and I was looking at the the Masters of Mercenary series Bible on the way over here, mm -hmm. trying to yeah, this, trying, this. trying to cram it into your brain. That's right. There's 140 pages long now. Yeah, we got a lot of red too. Because what we do is we we're actually going to in the next couple of weeks try to put up what I like to call the lexicon. Because yeah, that's funny. Yeah, so that's funny. So um, funny. I think it's cute. It's basically a little um. A uh, primer a reminder. So if you're reading a book, uh, you can go to the website and you've you've. Oh, we got a question right. We don't have to take. Yes. <laughs> um, you get the basically it's a what do you a minimized version of our Bible, a condensed version of the Bible. So if you um, come across a character that you can't remember who it is, you can go to the website and look him up and see who it is. But you'll also, we put the dead characters in red, so there's a lot of red. Ooh, what about characters who died and came back? Should they be purple? I can do that. 
I can do that. Okay, somebody wants to know, is Charlie really pregnant with the fourth, or did they just read that book? No, yes. Charlie is really <laughs> pregnant with the fourth. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, I actually, and some of this is going to happen off screen. Um, we're in the midst of trying to get together all the... I, I obviously can't write a novella for every child that's born, and I can't really fit it in because if it doesn't work with the flow of the book, if I'm writing two characters who don't have anything to do with characters who are having a baby, that happens off screen. So a lot of these babies have been born off screen. And I, I need to kind of get a flow chart so that you see who's had what babies. Because Mia and Case have obviously had their baby by now. Otherwise, she's been pregnant for like elephant years time and that didn't happen. Yeah. Um, so. Okay, we have our next question. Um, we have two questions, but we're going to answer Jennifer's first. What weapon was Kelsey permitted in the arena against the three wolves? And I know what it was. <sighs> the but Cestai. Okay, I was hoping you remember the name. Yes. I remember what it looked like. I remember looking it up. Kelsey but. was permitted um, Cestai, which is um, a Roman version of basically claws. It's a, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's gloves. Really she's, of course, um, able to use that because she's going up against werewolves and all they are allowed to use is tooth and claw. So she uses Marcus's cesti from when he was a gladiator. Okay. I feel like, see, I feel like I know something when I get one like that. So I don't think this is a, a question question, but it's, this is not one of these questions. So what is the incident which calls President Zachary Hayes to be called Scooter in the PG series? And have we said that yet? I know that we've yeah, said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it, it comes up. It absolutely, oh, right. it, in, it absolutely comes up. Um, it is. Zach Hayes lost his virginity on the back of a Vespa. Yes, that yeah. fell over while they were... They, it fell over and took off while they were having sex on it. And that was... It did not go well. And actually, in the end of the day, Augusta, um, Roman's, uh, uh, Roman's wife now, um, Dax's sister ended up taking credit for deflowering Zach because the girl who he was actually with on the be said Vespa, uh, her dad was very, very... Um, would not have liked her being deflowered and, <laughs> or deflowering or any of that. So, see, that's extra trivia. That's right. I know that one. And Jennifer said, yes, it's good. And um, it was in smoke and said, yes, good. Um, okay, so it was, we'll wait for a second while the next question comes up. Um, that means I'm supposed to talk. That means you're supposed to talk. I don't know what to talk about. Who's loving the royals? Royals is awesome. Royals is awesome. This time, this season. Well, it's always awesome, but yes, this season is. is particularly awesome. But Robert sucks. Even though, kind of, I was, I don't know. They need to pull me in, even with like the bad guys. Uh, somebody asked if Drew, uh, the rest of the Dawson brothers, would eventually get books. Um, you know what? Now that I have the rights back to it, um, I they'll. I'm kind of shifting characters around, and, and as I mesh these universes together, finding new places to put characters. So, like, Wynn is either going to be in Bliss or he's going to be in Texas Sirens. Uh, and, and obviously the younger Mark and Drew would be somewhere as well. Uh, either, probably not Bliss, they'd probably be in Texas Sirens. But you never know. They could also show up in some other, not Lawless, though, because they might have two Drews. Yes. Okay, and this one we're going to have to count. In the vast world of m and its and its spinoffs, who were the Marines? And Jennifer says she doesn't know this answer, and that we're going to have to have Stacey McClellan chime in here. Did I have any Marines? No, oh, 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 um, Ezra. Ezra was Force Recon, although that's kind of Ezra because it's Ezra, Ezra. But Ezra Fane was Force Recon. Right. I don't, was anybody else a Marine? Let's see, because Wade was Green Beret. Wade was a Green Beret. Most of them are, because Ian was a Green Beret. Ian was in Army, um, and most of them were in the Army. Um, Rennie and... They were SEALs. Kai. Wasn't Kai? No, Kai was in the Army. Was he a Marine? I don't think so. I am going to go with just Ezra Fade. Okay, we're going to go with, that's our final answer there. Locking that one up. Um, Jesse was army. Yes. He was I, just ready yeah, yeah. And see, I, I go with army and green rice because my dad was um the I, it's 
what my dad was. So <laughs> I, I tend to go with that. Um, this but, is not from Jennifer, but from somebody else. How many ways does Deb Quinn give power and energy to Daniel so he can day walk? Oh, how does he do it? You no, know, how many ways? Uh, it was all through sex magic. It was all through sex magic. Um, so Dev, uh, Dev Quinn's a green man. Um, he also, over the course of the, of the novels, um, he's, fa he's a fae. He's a shay, uh, Seely shay at the beginning. He is not Seely at the end. He considers himself unseely at the end. Um, he's a, a high priest. And he has fertility powers. So the way Daniel, um, in my this particular universe, vampires feed off sex energy. Uh, what? Sorry. Oh no, is it a bad question? No, there's line shifts. There's line shifts at top. We didn't even get into top. Damn it! I know. <laughs> okay. Not. So um, basically, Dev has sex, or the um, ancient fertility god who's inside of him can actually take Deb's green uh green man magic and funnel it into the angle. So um we have other to... than that it was only the real Ezra. We just didn't think about top. <laughs> okay, so we're paying was it Link? Is Link or I'm not sure because Eric was a seal. Yeah. All right, well cheers. Right. Cheers. Yes. That gets easier every time. It's a sad that's how we end up at bad places. Is there a name you'll never use for a character simply because it's the name of someone you just can't stand? Oh, no, I'll totally use that name. <laughs> she has. <laughs> she has. There is uh -huh. already a character in Thieves, at least in Thieves, that's someone that... No, but have anybody ever, you. has anybody ever noticed that the name Matt is never <laughs> a good guy? Ever. Mm-hmm. Okay, what color was Sam's motorcycle, rest in peace motorcycle, now cubed, and Siren in the City? It was either red or black is what I'm thinking. I don't think so. I thought it was white. Was it white? Was it white or red? It's, I know it wasn't black. Which one do you want to go with? Um, okay, let's go with white. Yeah, but then if it's red, I mean, then if it's black. I just know it was a Ducati. It was a Ducati, definitely. Um... It's a crotch rocket. Mm-hmm. Which one should we go with? Let's go with red. We're going with red. Um, and someone asked, are you thinking of starting another series centered in Papillon? It seems like another fun world. Yes, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I want to say no, God, I don't need another series. And I did not intend to start another series. Not at all. It's kind of how it ended up happening. Um, you know, I, I I knew I was going to Remy's home, and it ended up that there's this just whole town. I, I can't not see stories in people. <laughs> like, I'm never going to write a standalone. The motorcycle was pink? No, no, the butt plug was pink. The motorcycle wasn't pink. I can assure you of that. I can look that up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure. That I know, I would not have given him a pink motorcycle. Hold on. Huh, okay. Okay. Um, and Larissa says she's going to name a hero Matt just for you. Oh, thank you so much, <laughs> Larissa. Is he going to kill me? Okay, so, I feel like a biker mama. Wait. Four hours later, Sam watches Abby strapped on her helmet. Sam stood quietly looking at his unbelievably cool new bike as Abby got prepared for the trip. Her hair was pulled back in a low ponytail, and she wore a leather jacket he'd ordered her to wear. She wasn't, he wasn't letting her on a bike without her skin being protected. She was dressed in a leather jacket, t-shirt, heavy denim jeans, gloves, and motorcycle boots. It was a good thing he wasn't the world's most obedient sub. Though he, Jack had told him he couldn't buy a motorcycle, Sam rode them as often as he possibly could. He had friends who let him practice on theirs, teaching him the ins and outs of how to handle the bike. I feel like a biker mama. She grinned as she settled in the back of the motorcycle. She looked hot sitting on the back of this brand new Ducati Panigale, well, I probably screwed that up, V4 Special. She was so cute, he could eat her up. He leaned over and kissed her, slipping her a bit of time before breaking off and sliding in front of her. There is no color mentioned. Someone said they thought it was yellow. It might have been mentioned later when they get there and they... Oh, the cube. Oh, let's look up the cube. Okay. 
And the, um, someone said that Otis should be featured in all of the that Beyond. Oh, books. The, like be, Maurice. Like Maurice, that would be fun. I'm going to tell you. Um, as I'm going back, when I redid To Love, Maurice. Um, I just I need Maurice to to welcome people. Is this before or after? Oh, I thought I thrust in. Ooh, this is saucy. Okay. Where's the cube? It's... Oh, no, there it is. Side of his cube. Hold on. We're almost there. You keep my motorcycle. It was baby powder. Blah, blah, blah. She was causing us up again. Do you think that this is in the... This is probably not even in the Bible, though. Well, we're going to just jack walk in. I'm so sorry. This is probably totally boring, but we have had enough tequila that if I don't have to. Okay. To... Let, let's move on to the next one. So I think we can get the next one right. Okay. How much money was in the briefcase that Helper gave to, Zo to Zoe? It was either 500000 or a million. It was, a, it was a million because they split it. Wait, hold on. They, they split it. Everybody got two fifty. dollars Okay. What was in the briefcase was... I want to say it was five hundred thousand because it was half, and then they got the other when the um, Satan said the contract was good. That's our that's our answer. That's we're our answer. We're, we're sticking with that one. But yeah. I still want to find out if I if I labeled the cube. Yes, we can look. That we're going to look up that. We're going to look that up later. Yes. We're going to look up that. Yes, we're going to look that up later. Um, and someone said the answer to. To the Daniel, and how he gets him, he said he, Daniel either takes Dev's blood, has sex with him, or gets energy through funneling it to Daniel through his. Well, but the no, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be a, a creator here. Uh, the the blood that he gets that is not what makes him able to daywalk. We were what? We were correct. Oh, a, cool. Yes. Does <laughs> not make him able to daywalk. Um, uh, that that is absolutely just from his fertility energy. Just, I just want to be clear on that. He does, he, he actually um, talks about uh, de, uh, about Dev like he's methadone. Um, Zoe's blood is actually better for him, but Dev's keeps the cravings away. It does its job, but his blood is not actually what causes Daniel to daywalk. That is strictly comes from the energy from Dev having sex near him. Or, or with him later on, and that's kind of nice. And then, like I said, Dev can't funnel it through his hands, but Briss can, the fertility god who lives in Dev's body. Okay. Yeah, I love paranormal. Yeah. Fiona Archer would like to know, did Liam eat a jar of jellied eels in Adonis forever? He, you know why he did not? Because, because Fiona Archer told me, you can't have him sound like he's standing on the, what did she say? Like the, she put it in a very, very Fiona way with, I can't do her off the accent, but she was like, you, you can't have him sound like he's eating a jar of pickled eels, love. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And actually, funny trivia question for later on, um, Penny in Dungeon Royale is based on Fiona Archer. Yes. Um, what was Marcus before he was an academic? Um, he was a gladiator. Yeah, because I think once he became a... Well, the minute he was a vampire, he was, you are, you're born into your class. Okay. Um, he was a gladiator. Now, before that, I don't know I've ever really said anything. I can tell you that the reason Marcus was in the, I don't know if I ever said it, I have said that his parents were followers. Um, but the reason Marcus was in was in the Coliseum to die and then have Louis bring him, you know, turn him was um, was he was a Christian. Yes, you did. Yes, you have said that. And I think that one's right. Yes, she said it's correct. So yay, yay. So we don't drink too much right now. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? Other questions? Or are we going to? Are the Siren in the City paranormal novels? No. No. Yes. Um, Yes. No, the only um, paranormal I write are is a, a series called Thieves. Um, Siren uh, in the City. Hi. I can see though where they might think because it's Siren. No, this is this is a use of Siren like being, hello boys, I'm a Siren calling mm -hmm. to you. 
Like, um, no, these are those are contemporary Western romance. No, no, like mythological creatures, except no legendary creatures, except maybe Sam's penis. <laughs> okay, next question. What did Megan first make Ian at top to get him off the salad line? To get him off the what? salad line, because when he first started, he was not. No, he wasn't the big. Yeah, no, no, no. You're right. Oh crap. It had to be, oh, Madeline's? Was it Madeline's? Or was it tarts? That's what I was saying, possibly lemon tarts. Okay, we're going with lemon tarts. We're going with lemon tarts, yes. Because it was something that Timothy was doing. I remember Timothy's name. Yes. Timothy's the one who got his balls kicked in. They, yeah, we know that. Yes, and we know that Sean did it. We know that now. From... It also might have been like a lemon, like a mousse. Or, I don't know. Cherie wants to know what uh, Nell's degree is in. Nell has a degree. What is Nell's degree in? Does Nell have a degree? I don't know. Does Nell have a degree? I'm not sure. No, I think she did go to college, oh, didn't she? Damn it. Lemon pudding. Ugh. Cheers. Cheers. We should have just said lemon dessert. Okay, no, that one was rough. <laughs> oh, I was going too long. Okay, you didn't answer this one. What? Where did the ad? Where did your idea from Ann Taggart come from? That would be the person sitting in the other. Room. sitting right out there. <laughs> he even said it to me the other day. We're driving. My husband, Rich, who I like to call Mr. Taggart, I can get Ian Taggart's lines just by walking around and writing them down. Literally, anybody who's read the cookbook in Girls' Night, there's a story called "Take Out, Take Out, Take Out, Take Out." I've had some tequila. Stick out, take out. And in it, uh, Karina is sitting and she's listening to Jared Ward over the um, an audiobook. And Derek gets in and he's like, why are the vampires all talking like rappers? Do they all have the weird names? Is this the weird name one where they like throw in an extra P? So the funny thing is, I also am listening to this. So because I do this every now and then, I throw real life stuff in. Um, I listen to it in my bathroom as I'm getting ready. I'm sitting at my vanity, and my husband walks in and said, Huh, this is the one where the vampires all sound like rappers? And I'm like, you stop right there. I, like, print it out. I'm like, I already put it in. I already knew what you would say. But my husband would tell you that he's a good person because he knows what he doesn't say. He knows all the things he is restrained enough to not say. Okay, we've got another question. I'm very, very glad he doesn't say that. Yes. Yeah. We're all happy. <laughs> How long was Danny with the council for training when he first returned? Three years. First turn before he returned home. Yeah, three years. Just three years. Um, that one. Yeah, most of, for, um, it's mostly, it's usually a whole, a full year, but because of the way Danny turned and because he was a king, Marini kept him for three years in order to turn him into an ex-apparatus. See, I got the thieves ones down. <laughs> It's when they start asking about Master of Minaj that I'm like, what? Although I got Angus. What, um, but this is not one of those, this, this isn't one from Jennifer. But this, so, what dirty name did Ian call Charlie after she returned from the dead? She slapped his face at the end after that. Oh, whore. Whore? He called her a whore. Was that it, Kelly? <laughs> um, and yes, we were correct about the three years, so yeah, yeah, yep. that's yay. See, we're not that bad. Well, maybe we're about half of them. We're th <laughs> maybe we're <laughs> <laughs> about there. Um, so, uh, just so you guys know, Mary Carr and I have talked about doing oh, yes, this. Kelly says yes. Yay. yay! Mary Carr and I have talked about doing this. Um, we're going on a retreat this summer, and we will do this again. It'll be really fun. In June. In June, yeah. In June, yes. And we'll play Stump, Stump Lexi and Mary. Yeah. yeah. And Lila, maybe Lila can be our moderator. So we'll have you send questions in again to do that. To do that. I'm um, just going to eat this part because it's cotton candy. Yeah. And if anyone has any questions other than. Yeah, we've probably got. Yet? We've got about eight minutes left. Um, let's see what else we got here. So, uh, Linda says she just started post cover and she loves it. Yay! So, yay. 
Charity says, Remy was a lot of fun to write. Charity says, woohoo, Sam's pain. <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> um, it was a legendary penis. It was. That was that it was. Um, we never did decide what Nell's degree would be in. It would probably be in something. Like it would probably be in you know, something like like um, political science or like women's studies. Maybe, yeah. Maybe women's studies. Yeah. Um, I was also thinking possibly philosophy. Could be. Philosophy, yeah. Um, While well, Henry's was in internal decapitation. That's right. I thought we said we had another question. Um, someone's asking about a list of books. Oh, ooh. What? Nell's degree was in social work. She, we had that was actually in the books. Okay. All right. Oh, really? <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Okay. What was the name of the mayor of Bliss before Ray took over? Uh, Hiram. Her Har Har Hiram. 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 Yes. It was Hyde. Hiram. Yes, they called him Hyde. Hiram okay. Walker. We got that one. Did we know that? Yes. Um, he was a very nice little old man. So, uh, Eileen is Knew how to about, fight with Maurice the Moose. <laughs> Eileen is asking about a list of books for Masters of Mercenaries series and spinoffs. So, we haven't. And that hasn't been announced yet. The list of the spinoffs. Well, the series is on, the, series, well, the, the main series. Is. Oh, which, are, the, yeah. The main series is on the website. You are you talking know, about titles for the Forgotten? Uh, in the spinoffs, yes. Those have not been announced yet, except for the first one. No so here's one. what I'm going to say. We've got the amazing Jen LeBlanc um, shooting our covers for all five books coming up, and we'll be debuting those shortly. Yes. So, so you'll know. Um, I am going to tell you though, you're not going to know who the lead characters are, not until they're the they come out. Yes, that is the mystery. So, if anybody has finished Close Cover, you know that the ep the epilogue takes place about 18 months after it's happened, and the events of the Forgotten have already happened, and something occurs that causes Ian um, an enormous amount of of regret and I'm not going to say what it is <laughs> but what we have always known I've always I've always stated that those boys in the Lost Boys they might not be telling one of them might not be telling the truth yes and that's a good yeah a good a good hint a good teaser um Oh, well, there's another sad face. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I'm sorry, it'll all turn out okay, sad face emoji. Teresa Walsh wants to know if you have a playlist when writing books. I do. Actually, um, I put it on Spotify. Um, I've been making one as I go along writing Protected. Uh, if you want to look on Spotify, it's Lexi Blake. And um, I have, I have but there's one called Birthday Party that I play at my birthday party. But yeah, I've got one right now, uh, two going, one for the Forgotten, and then I've got the Protected sound um, soundtrack started. Ooh, and I had one for um, I, I had one for Thieves too. Yeah. Oh, you have some good songs on the Thieves yeah. one. You did. Um, everyone's freaking. Everyone's saying, "Oh my God!" So I had a feeling that someone was holding out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Someone is going to die. Not Tucker. Lots of not Tuckers. Okay, I'm gonna tell. I'm just gonna like. Do you really think I'd kill Tucker? Do you really think? Yeah, I'm just gonna say Tucker is. Um, Tucker's gonna be one of the more interesting characters. But I, they all. These guys all have a really interesting journey to go on. Because uh, this is about you know what happens when we have no past. So we've got about four minutes. Okay. Four or five minutes. Um, Cherie says she loves your sleeper playlist. And um, see, there's like one person who follows me on Spotify, <laughs> and I, I should have known it would be Cherie. <laughs> <laughs> also, Cherie, if they tell you how many times I listen to the same song over and over and over again, yeah, it's weird. It's weird. But I think every author does that. We get this in our head. I have this song for Protected. Um, weirdly enough, it's from the Nashville soundtrack that when I close my eyes, I, I can see it very clearly. And so I'll listen to it 20 times in a row. And I think Spotify like updates you like, 
Lexi Blake listened to blah, 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 and blah, 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 and it's the same song. Yeah, sad. <laughs> um, Maggie says, you killed Matt with an exclamation point. Did I? Did I? How many books has Maggie read? Uh, <laughs> which ones has she not read? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, someone else said you could possibly make us think he's dead but i think that's talking about the guy on, that's talking about one of the oh no i'm serious guys okay so there are six lost boys plus that's for fame seven seven only five, five books. books she made five books we got to pick out who we wanted the models we and, did which was one of the funnest days uh -huh. ever and how we wanted them dressed yes that was a lot of fun that was a lot of fun we got to dress up hot little hot kid dolls we did yeah. Okay, so I don't see any more questions coming. Um, we have a couple more minutes. We're going to do a couple more minutes. Minaj, do we have any more Masters of Minaj coming? Um, we're going to have to see. I, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm honestly scared to write another one of them. And I'm going to be, because I've had like five, I think half shots of tequila. I don't say the real, like, but, um, it, if I have one series that is constantly under fire, it's Masters Minaj. Uh, we we have to fight when whenever something comes up, Amazon takes it down. And Barnes and Noble, Barnes and Noble takes it down. iBooks gives us trouble. Um, although right now my problem is three to ride. Anybody who's looking for three to ride on Barnes and Noble, I'm fighting with Barnes and Noble. I, I put that book up, and and it's come down twice now. Um, and it's been down for I, six we years have, and we can't get it back up. Yeah. We have an idea for Masters Minaj. My worry is, I mean, at the end of the day, if if a platform like Amazon isn't going to sell it, I don't know that I can write it. We'll see. We're going to take some time because um, Shayla and I are going to work on the last book, of Perfect Gentleman. We'll see where the atmosphere is. Uh, but uh, like I said, honest, honestly, it scares me to try to write that book, to put all my time and energy into it, and then to see the puritanical people come in and take us all down. Okay, we're going to answer one question real fast. When is the final book in the Scandal series coming out? It should be October. October. I think it's October 28th, 20th? October. October. Late October. Last question for the trivia. All right. Is still the moon and still the moon who helped Zoe locate Neil while he was hiding out in Wolfborn for too long? And we just, if you're listening to this, doing a proof listen for. Okay. The I know the problem is I changed her name. Oh, no. Seriously. Well, wasn't it Eve St. John? Eve, um, no, it was Eve something. Her na original name was Eve St. John, but then it was too close to my Eve in. Oh, shit. It was Eve, right? Was it still Eve? Did I leave it as Eve? I had to, okay, trivia again. Um, I originally wrote Thieves before I wrote Masters of Mercenaries. And um, before I wrote uh, Texas Sirens and Bliss, there are character names in Thieves that I still associate with the characters that we had to change because I had used them I don't know why. I, 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 yeah, I'd use them. Stuart was originally named Simon. And it's, that's and it's, very, yes, it's very hard <laughs> for me. Um, the vampire named Justin was named Logan. And I still think of him as Logan. And that woman was named Eve St. James. Or St. John. But it was too close to um, Alex's Eve. Jane. Damn it. Jane Nichols. Okay. Jane Nichols. That's right. There we go. Cheers. All right. So you stumped the author. Yes. Number, number. <laughs> Hopefully you learned a little bit. And um, if you still have questions, I'm going to throw it because I know some of y'all want to get to um, Shayla's show. But if you have questions, um, after I have recovered from the tequila, I will certainly come back and answer them in written form. I want to thank everybody who yes. supported the crossover. It's it's been a really um, it's been an amazing had an amazing reception. 
and I hope that you all try the other authors. Uh, like I said, they're all fabulous. If you haven't, if you like, we've talked a lot about Thieves and we've talked a lot about Paranormal. If you haven't tried Larissa Ione's Demonica series, you are missing out. It is one, I, of all the authors who did the series, oddly enough, Larissa and I are the ones who write the most alike. So weirdly, um, even though it's paranormal, I think people who like me are going to love her. So you might give it a try. Um, and all the other authors are totally amazing and yes. lovely. So we're going to go and <laughs> not drink <laughs> any more tequila. Thank you so much and good night. Good night. And Steve Barry is the best thriller author. That's $10. $10. Thank you.